Hey, Brent Porcio, Stephen Godani. We got Adam Garcia today here at the At Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tips show. So if you got a question, go to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Of course, like us or even share this video. Help us keep this going. But post your question at Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tips, and we're going to answer it on the next show. So we just got a great question, and that's why I brought Adam here, who's training here with Stephen as well, in to answer this question. So they're both going to kind of answered i might just step out a little bit but we'll see what's what's the question joseph brasher asked what is a typical day like for guys training at your facility okay i'll start off quickly you know we've had guys here at all levels we've had guys um you know we don't get them that young but we do welcome them under 12 but most of our guys come in here from high school college the guys that stay over the summers and the falls are college guys um, and we do get our pro guys and we we've had uh, lucky to have some major leaguers in here um, and, and minor league guys. So right now we've got Adam Garcia here, who's in high school, um, 17, big guy, six, what? Seven, seven to 25, 230. 230. Um, and he's already at 93, came into camp at 88. Uh, we think he's gonna be mid nineties, upper nineties if we, if we kick some butt. Steven, who's, you know, is an intern here. He's training as well, halfway through college. Um, working on some, some issues he's had in his body um, and, and here learning a lot and helping out a lot and that's why he's been a big part of the show. But let's ask Adam his experience to kind of go through your days and your experience here. Like what do you do and talk about everything we do here. Well, um, this training program has uh, helped me tremendously. I mean, cr increasing my velocity from uh, 88 to 93 and basically like one cycle of doing the ace pitcher handbook. But um, usually my day begins, I come in here around like 9 or 10 o'clock and we do all of our um, mobility work. Usually we take it out of supple leopard and we do a lot of stretches so that way we get good uh, range of motion and blood flow so that way we can uh, prevent injury. And then um, after that, usually three times a week, we go through the, the 3X med ball system. 3X velocity system? Yeah, 3X velocity system. And we go through that, usually it takes about an hour or an hour and a half. And then we go through that and then Usually after that, then we go in the weight room, hit the weights hard. Then after that, then we would come out and we'd uh, foam roll and do more mobility exercises. And, um, and don't forget the anaerobics. We got anaerobics too. And we also have anaerobics too. Yeah. To so do. we've got different calendars. You know, that's pretty good for um, Adam because you've only been here for what three weeks. Yeah. So he's new in it and he's up on it already. Um, but yeah, the, if you look, we have the three calendars. We have the three X velocity system, which is the throwing program, which is all proprietary drills I've developed. To work and help us implement the mechanics, the 3x mechanics uh, that you learn as well in the program, and then the Olympic-based strength conditioning program, which we use the Olympic model to enhance power and mobility. Um, and of course, for mobility, we also bring in the works of Dr. Kelly Starr, Supple Leopard. Um, he does an amazing job in mobility. And then anaerobic conditioning, we use a set of speed and agility type drills with sleds and plyos and. Um, you know, ladders and, and all the things to really hit the different dynamics uh, of, of speed in the movement uh, and specifically also very specific to uh, the, the patterns of movement or the planes of movement, transverse, frontal, uh, sagittal. Um, and that's why we call it the fusion system because it's a, it's a fusion of, of training to, to, to create the, the, the high velocity pitcher. It's not just, it's not just Olympic lifting. It's not just, um, you know, sled work. It's a fusion of things to really uh, develop the or be a full comprehensive approach to developing the high velocity pitcher. So tell them about the commitment level because that's the biggest thing here. What's the kind of commitment level that you've come into to really be able to, to be successful at this? I mean, is it a high level commitment or is it a low level commitment? Um, how many hours a day are you here? Stuff like that. Well, it's a, it's a high level of commitment. I mean, I see a lot of guys and they come in here and they're um, they come in, they really want the gains really quick, and this isn't a program where you're really going to see, I mean, of course there are some guys where you're going to see gains quicker and you're going to see gains slower, but a lot of guys like to come in here and they like to say they're committed, but then when they go through the program for a month and they're not really seeing the gains they want to see, they just go ahead and quit because they go, okay, well, I haven't seen the gains this quick, so I just want to stop because I'm not seeing the results right away. But this is a program that if you're going to come and you're going to stay here, you're going to need a high level of commitment you're going to really need to stick with it because if you don't stick with it, you're not going to see the gains that you want to see. I mean, going through the performance weeks and everything is going to be really tough. It's going to be really hard on your body. You're going to need to eat. You're going to need to sleep. And 
you got to be really committed or else your body's just going to break down and you're not really going to see the gains that you want to see. Yep. And um, usually a typical day of training takes about like four hours, four and a half hours. I mean, that five hours actually, that includes all your mobility training. Uh, it depends if you have agilities that day, you have the throws and you have the lifting. But I mean, I really recommend this program to anybody that really wants to come and hit it hard because you will see the gains. I mean, I've already seen five miles an hour just from doing it for however long I've been doing it. And I'm just going to keep hitting the Harpies. It's really been helping me. And I believe that anybody that wants to come down here will really help you. Awesome, man. So, Steven, give your take to it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much my typical days. Um, I have lifting four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Friday. Same kind of thing, like mobi mobility work. Um, uh, my usual day is probably, like he said, like four hours of training. Um, and just a big thing, like Adam said too, like the gains, the gains kind of, it's different for everybody. So peaks and valleys. yeah, there's, there's definitely peaks and valleys to it. Um, but yeah, like he's saying, um, uh, with the, with the gains it's different for everybody. Like Adam came in in three weeks, gained five miles per hour. So it's like for some people, especially being here, you're like, oh, damn, man, how do you do that so quick? But yeah, um, well, bigger guys, they're lucky. They have the success if they don't have some issues, mobility restrictions or yeah. strength, serious power issues. Um, but yeah, I mean, smaller guys, it takes actually longer for smaller guys to get the gain. So you actually, the smaller guys actually have to be more committed than the bigger guys if they're gonna see the same gains as the bigger guys. Yeah, but it's a, it's a lot of peaks and valleys too, uh, especially for people um, who it took a little bit longer for their gains because when you're going through the training, the training is really, especially the weight training, it takes a lot out of you, so you start to get tired, and then uh, you don't see your ball velocity as well when you're tired because you're tearing your body down to wait for it to build back up. So you'll see your ball velocity go down, and it's hard to not get down on yourself and be like, man, this is, it's not working, and then uh, you just have to wait and push through it, and then once you recover and you see and your ball velocity jumps, and you're like, okay, <laughs> it is working, but it, it is really hard. It is a peak and valley that you just got to, uh, keep trusting the process and really just have faith that it's all going to work out because if you do do it and if you are uh, tearing your body down and building it back up the velocity does come and uh, it's it's really fun to watch because once you get a taste of it and you see that a uh, little bit of velocity gain you just become like a little uh, a little Dude. addict for you yeah. <laughs> you're like come on where's the velocity gains you want to push yourself even harder so it's a good time it's fun all right cool well that's a good question appreciate you asking that if you have got a question, go to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Top Velocity, or at Stephen Godani. Hashtag pitching tips. Ask your question, and we're going to answer it on the next episode. Play hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard.